in this video i'm going to show you how to add totals and sub totals to your cross tab table all right so let's begin by building a simple cross tab let's look at each category and then let's um, add in each actually i want category here let's add in each region and also let's add in each segment actually i want to switch this that looks good so for each region and for each category and for each segment and let's take cells and add it to the text so in the central region furniture and under the consumer segment the cells is 89,000 almost 90,000 but what if we want to find out the total for all furniture cells in the central region or the total for all office supplies in the total region to add totals to your work to your cross tab what you do is you go to analysis and then you go to totals and then here you do show row grand totals and then analysis again totals show column grand totals what we have here now is the grand total so basically for all the consumer segment in all the regions the total is 1.5 million and for furniture in the central region across all segments the total is 168,000 now we can um, add subtotals so we can get um, the consumer totals just for the central region the corporate totals just for the east region and the home office totals just for the south region to add subtotals you go to analysis totals add all subtotals so now we have the subtotals for each region and then for the whole market all right so as you can see right here by default tableau is using sum as aggregation method we could um, change the aggregation method to maybe look at the average and as you, also as you can see this doesn't have the last signs to it so we can add the last signs to it here in a second but to um, cha change the aggregation method we click on this drop down arrow you go to measure and then you click on average as you can see it changes the average um, for the grand total and for the subtotal and it doesn't just change the average for it it changes it gives you the average for the data itself and then the average for the totals so if you want to change the aggregation method you do you do it from here and now let's go ahead and format this and uh, format custom and yeah that looks good to me so that's how you, um, you format it to add the dollar signs now you might have noticed that when we changed it from sum to average aggregation it didn't change the titles to reflect it we can change the titles to reflect our new aggregation method and to change titles you just right click and click on format and here you can make different changes so i'm going to change this to total average all right and then here you can also change this to average And then you can come here, right click, 
format and change this to total average and you can add the totals to the top also by going to analysis totals and using the column totals to top or you can also um, add it to the left so row totals to the left so the totals will be added um, to the left of the screen let's go here and then totals show row totals so now the totals is added to the left right here you can also create totals from the analytics pane so if you go here and click on analytics you could grab total and add it to the appropriate ones if you want to add subtotals you can add subtotals from here or you can drag it and maybe add column grand total drag and add row grand total so using the analytics pane is another way to add totals and grand totals to your cross tab and if you want to remove your subtotals you just go back to analysis totals and remove all subtotals or analysis totals and then you uncheck these boxes and that's how you remove your totals that's it for this video if you want to add totals to your cross tab you come here analysis add all subtotals and then from here you can change the aggregation method that's it for this video and I'll see you on the next one.